All right, traders, George here, and time for a pre-FOMC gold update. What you're seeing here is a daily chart DSR model, and let me just walk you through what I'm looking at. We've pulled back to test this DSR support zone here just recently. We've put in a bit of a double bottom here with some bullish divergence. What we don't have to the bull side is any bullish follow through. On the right hand side here, we don't have any white candles. And certainly the swing high here at 1267.50 not taken out. Note we're down to 1230s right now, and we've got to go up 37 bucks just to take out that swing high. So that's a lot of travel distance just to break that swing high there. We are pressing into this DSR area here, and if we take 1210 out to the downside, that would be a red flag that we're going lower. 1179 would be the first price point to watch. We start trading below and closing below 1179. We're going lower, okay? So now if the bulls can get a bounce out of this zone, there's a bit of an air pocket through these DSR levels that takes us up to 1356 is the key primary target to move up for resistance and then secondary up to 1429. That's as far to the upside as I care to look at gold for the time being. I've got some other stuff to show you, so let me move this along quickly. The big gun's out now. Uh, this is the weekly chart here, balance beams, and then... 1267.50 that I pointed out as a swing high on that double bottom. Look at this balance beam here, 1243. We're trading now, we're trading more than $13 below that point. So price below 1243 is bearish. That puts more pressure on that setup that I just showed you. So 1243 being broken to the upside would likely lead us to 1267s. However, we're below that right now, and there's a bit of an air pocket that takes us down to the next zone, which is around 1121s, okay? There happens to be a lot more FIB ratio and harmonic confluence with lower downside targets, and not to bore you with the math here, but it's really incredible to see how this initial sell impulse, this secondary sell impulse, the entire impulse as a unit of one have a relationship to the master rally impulse that I'm basing off of a swing low of 253, which is over a decade ago, going up to the high here. So looking back to the left here, these key balance beam zones, the dominator is around 890 to 945s. Outside return finds resistance, kiss of death, you're going lower most likely. So now that it's having difficulty in this zone here, if it can't hold on, we know 1210 is a red flag we know 1179 likely and below that we've got 1121s if this doesn't hold very good chance we're moving lower so one of the harmonic targets where there's some neat confluence here is in the low 1000s 1011s or so and then the larger scale harmonic target actually pokes us down to about 800 but that's below the dominator and it's certainly possible that we could move below here it's at the 618 retrace as well folks we pop below 100 bucks overshoot and then come back reclaim that and move up and that's something that I would look uh, for in the future if we start to move down watch for a head fake below the this 900 region and then a pop back above that will be the buy signal when it does that you know all the key price points that you need to know uh, right now for a good region above and below where we're trading I'll update you shortly after the Fed gives us some more uh, ammunition to work with tomorrow but there's your gold update, all the key price points you need to know. We'll see you back in the live room.